My name is Tanya Dorf, and I'm a medical oncologist specializing in genitourinary cancers at City of Hope. The idea of a CAR T cell is to take a T cell and change what it's programmed to recognize an attack. So one strategy is to take the immune cells out of the body and manipulate them in a way that they will be more able to recognize and attack cancer. And then we can expand those to create a huge army and infuse a person's own new T cells back in to hopefully treat the cancer. So that's what a, a CAR T essentially is. In leukemia and lymphoma, they've taken patients who had failed every available treatment, including very extreme treatments like bone marrow transplant, and have cured them with the CAR T. In addition to the very novel immunotherapy of CAR T for prostate cancer, we are participating in some larger efforts to bring immunotherapy to prostate cancer. So some phase three trials that will hopefully bring PD-1 inhibitors, for instance, into prostate cancer treatment. It's important that patients get referred in early enough to be eligible for these clinical trials. A lot of the trials now are giving immunotherapy together with one of our standard treatments and comparing it to the standard treatment alone. So if a patient has gone through all the standard treatments and then starts to look for a clinical trial, they're gonna miss out on the opportunity for what we think might be a, a better approach. So I would encourage patients and physicians to think about earlier referral for clinical trials in order to access what are really the most exciting breakthrough treatments for prostate cancer. Mm -hmm.